Right, okay guys, so as the title suggests, this is a pickups video. I haven't done one for a little while, and I've got a few bits I wanted to show. I've also got a couple of bits from other tubers, but we'll get into that. Now, before I get into that, I just want to point out, I've had a couple of things sent to me by two people in the community. But I'm not going to show them just yet, because the things they sent me are Star Wars related. And as you know, when I do my Star Wars video game pursuit, I like to keep all that stuff separate from my normal pickup videos. So, guys, if you're watching, it's not that I forgot, I'm just not showing them on this pickups video because I want to keep them for the Star Wars video game pursuit. And there's some nice items there too. Um, one of them was from Gib84 and the other one was from Roger. And uh, they're really nice. So I'll, I'll show them anyway, like I say, on the Star Wars video game pursuit video. Right, so for now, pickups. Let's get into it. There's a few charity shops and various other things. There's a story to a couple of them, but we're getting to that now. Right, let's go. So, first three I've picked up here are charity shop finds. We've got Pinball, and that's Psycho Pinball, for the Mega Drive, one pound. Bargain. You see a Mega Drive cart for a pound, pick it up. You're not losing anything, are you? Worms, Open Warfare, bit glare there, for the PSP, pounds, and this one is all there. Very good condition, this. I mean, when I saw this for a pound, it had to be got, you know? You'd be crazy not to. And then this one I don't know much about, but obviously I've recently got the Fin Klein off of uh, Martin, so I saw this for a pound and I picked it up, and that is Solar Empire. Like I say, I don't know much about it, and it does say they're three pounds, but it wasn't three pound, it was a pound. And I'll just open this up, because that's a cardboard sleeve. You've got several discs and a load of either posters or maps, whatever. I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet. But, you know, it's got some weight to it. And I, I just looked in, I thought, this looks interesting. For a pound's worth getting. So, again, charity shop find. Right, so that's three things from the charity shop. Right, then we've got lemmings this was from cex as you can see there it was a pound there's the back not much to this one because the instructions are on the actual disc again like i say i've got the fin client i can play this game i love lemmings obviously i preferred it on the amiga but i haven't got an amiga at the moment so this is the next best thing yeah pound from cex now this one is this one is i would say is probably my big hitter of these pickups and I think you'd probably agree. It's Marvel versus Capcom 1 for the Dreamcast. Now, I recently picked up the second one, which is dearer. And this one is in fantastic condition. There's the disc. And then we look at the other end. What you will be surprised about is how much I paid for it. There's the manual. It has got an annoying bit of writing on it, but I'll let that go. Mainly because of the condition of this. And that was... 43 pounds 43 way well, exactly 43 pounds 61 if you want to split as but really good price i mean normally most people are noticed normally this goes for 60 pound this game and in worse condition i'd say than this one i've got so i got this for a bargain and this was off ebay so i did very well with this and i'm looking forward to giving this a go right then we move on to some 8-bit micro now, by the time this video comes up, you would have already seen me playing this game. And that is Xenoblast. And it's the back. Got quite a zany colour tape in it. Xenoblast, and that's from Chronosoft. This was £6. You do get a digital download also. So if you've got a Spectrum and you like your homebrew, especially if you like shmups, pick this up. It's a top-down shooter. It's really good. Like I say, I'm telling you all this. The video's already gone up. So if you want to know what it looks like, have a look at my 8-bit uh, micro video that was done on Friday, and you will see this game. Then we've got more T Vicar, again from Chronosoft. It's a shade of tape, so tape's pretty mental. And uh, this again was £6. I should point out a couple of things about this one. So, for starters, this is not working on my Spectrum, because I've still got issues with it. 
However, I have been able to emulate it on my Power Kiddy V90 because, again, you get a digital download when you get this from Chronosoft. So I have played it. It's a difficult game, but I'm not sure if that's the emulation. The weapon's a little underpowered. You get clobbered really quickly. But what I will point out is that when I picked this game up, I mentioned to Sire that there's an extra game on it. There's a bit of a story to this. So we did a Micromaniac stream and we were showing this game. I was showing that I'd picked it up and so I mentioned, oh, I've got that. And I said, did you know there's an extra game on it? He said, oh, I didn't know that. So I said to him, well, basically, I found it by accident. Chronosoft had stuck the label. I'll show you that now. They stuck the label for more T Vicar on the wrong side. When I loaded it up, I got a game called Dead or Alive which is a bit like a top-down cowboy sort of shooting game. So I said to Sai, check your tape, see if you've got another game on the other side. Turns out he hasn't. So that must have been a mistake. This tape must have already had one side recorded on, and then they've put more T Vicar on it. So subsequently, I've ended up with two games. This could be a rarity, guys, so I'm really happy about that. I might be the only one who's got two games on one of these, ga these tapes. So... I'm quite happy with that. But like I say, again, Chronosoft, £6, and you get a digital download. I will link Chronosoft in the description down below, just in case anyone who's got a Spectrum wants to pick this game up. It's a good game. Like I say, it's difficult, but it's good. Right, now we're moving on to something a little bit different, and this is the Swap Shop. So, Steve, also known as 8-Bit Retro Refix, had this up for swap or sell and this is bruce lee for the commodore 64 not much to look at on the back and then there's the tape now i wanted this for two reasons number one as you know i'm a big bruce lee fan number two i had this game originally on the commodore 64 and i enjoyed it so when i saw steve show it i said oh, i'll have that what i didn't realize is this is quite a hard game to find i had a look on ebay because I wasn't sure how much to pay him. Didn't have an idea of how much it's worth these days. And when you look on eBay, there doesn't seem to be anybody selling it. And it just so happened, there was a couple of things that Steve wanted off of me. I won't mention what they are because he'll probably want to show them in his own video. But there was a couple of things he wanted. So I said to him, well, look, you know, how do you want to do this? And he, he proposed that he send me it and a bit of money. And then when I looked at it, I said, well, actually... The things that I was going to trade with you are worth about the same. Do you want to just do a straight swap? And he said, yeah, that's fine. So that's what we've done. But like I say, I'm not going to go over what it is. He'll probably show that in his video. But yeah, that's Bruce Lee for the Commodore 64. Really happy to have this again. Great game, and I haven't played this since I was probably about 10 or 11. So it's good to have it back in the collection. And then we've got, last but not least, a gift. And as you can see, Streets of Rage. Now, I have already got this game, but I didn't have the actual copy of it, if you like. There's the car. Obviously, there's a manual missing, but I can probably source one of them. So, I've got this on one of the multi-games carts, or mega games carts, whatever it is. But I didn't have the actual separate version of it. And uh, Lee, Retro Chef happened to mention me a few months ago oh, i've got a spare of that i've got a double do you want it i said yeah yeah okay so when he last came over he dropped it in i said how much do you want for it and he said come on it's me you know you know you don't have to give me nothing just have it because that's the sort of guy lee is so so yeah he gave me this and obviously i'll repay the favor at some point he's recently picked up some micros i'm sure there's something i've got that i don't want that he may want so, and this is how we work, me and Lee, you know, he'd give me something later down the line, I'll give him something. So, so yeah, it was really nice for him. He gave me this for nothing. And I mean, you know, this is not a cheap game, let's be honest. So, really happy to have the actual cartridge of this in my collection. Just need to get the other two now. <laughs> so, that's the end of my pickups anyway. Anybody I've mentioned, I'll link down below. I'll, I've linked... Um, chronosoft in the description as well in case you want to pick up them games for the uh, spectrum and until next time guys take care stay safe nerdy geezer out